Hey guys, Sam here. Uh, just wanted to let you know before you start listening to this next episode, which is Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, I wanted to let you know that since our recording, a lot of things have kind of come up about this case um, that we didn't cover because it hadn't happened yet. So keep an ear out for a new episode, which will go into more detail about the newer things that have come out since then. Until then, enjoy. You think you know what we're going to talk about. But unfortunately, I fell down a damn rabbit hole and I've not gotten out yet. <laughs> Knife bros. I literally googled Sebastian Stan hands. But just when you least expect it, we changed the game. Well, yeah, because like, usually in astrology, they would partner up air signs with fire signs. All right, you can, you can huggle time travel stories and at the end of the day only one thing matters we decide well we should make it a topic (laughs) (laughs) unfortunately i didn't take german in school i barely took i took spanish and i don't remember any of it three fates decide podcast hello everyone um this is liz and welcome to another episode of three fates decide I'm here again with my co-hosts, Sam and Mary. Say hi, guys. Hey. Okay, so we are going to talk about something um, that is pretty important, I think, because of the, uh, well, not just because of the two celebrities involved, but also the uh, bigger implications, you know, related Mm -hmm. to this particular topic. So... We will be talking about Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard and that general mess. Dun, dun, dun. Hashtag <laughs> justice for Johnny. Just so okay. everyone knows what yeah. side we're on. Yes. Well, Liz, I don't know. You, you don't know as much, but. Uh, no, I mean, like. I, yeah, I mean, I just generally think that, you know, given what's happened, I mean, it's just, it's just, you know. It's just not fair to him in the situation, at least. So, all right. So a uh, little background for anyone who has been living under a rock, uh, which is okay. You're allowed. Rocks are For the fine, last, but... what, about five years now, I think this has been going on? <laughs> Three been for the while. defamation suit. <sighs> so uh, Amber and Johnny met in 20, uh, 2009 when they both were on the set of Rum Diary. They started dating apparently in 2012. They got married in 2015. And then in 2016, she filed for divorce. Um, and then it got messy. When she filed for divorce, she accused him of physical abuse. And it's been kind of a shit show since. There's been all this crazy things. So when Amber initially... Um, filed and everything uh, and really spoke out about the abuse it was during the very famous Me Too movement and so people you know a lot of women stood up and you know praised her you're you know so brave you're that you know you're great you're fantastic that you're you're standing up Johnny um, was fired from Disney lost a lot of his sponsors and really the only thing he had left was the Harry Potter series. Um, he was in uh, Fantastical uh, Beasts. The Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Fantastic Them. The, uh, yeah, yes, the second one. Right. So let's fast forward. There was an article from The Sun um, who called Johnny a wife beater. Johnny then sued The Sun um, and... He went to court last summer and Johnny lost and he appealed. He lost the appeal. Amber took that as a huge victory. <laughs> um, Johnny then was quote unquote uh, at, he left uh, Warner brothers who is the ones who make Harry Potter films or the fantastic beast films. Um, so basically he was fired and Everything has kind of exploded to now a lot of people who were standing up for Amber have now turned against Amber because it's come out that Johnny may not have been the one who 
was abusing Amber, Amber was the one that was abusing Johnny. So that's a little uh, update. Right now, there's going to be... Um, uh, now the court is coming to the U.S., um, and it's going to get very, very interesting. And there's a lot of interesting stuff that's actually come out, I think, recently. Um, and Amber's not looking too hot. so Right. You know. I know I saw that someone had leaked a um, phone call between a, a private phone call or conversation between Amber and Johnny where she literally admitted to abusing him. Yep. Yeah, Johnny, I think, recorded the phone call. Yeah. And yeah, it came out and she she basically said, I didn't punch you, I hit you. Last yeah. time I checked, that was the same thing. The, the, yeah, this is just, that's, that's what I did to it. I, I listened to it and, I mean, my jaw just dropped open listening to it because she is a classic. She was displaying classic narcissistic, manipulative, abusive tactics. Mm -hmm. And she gaslit him. She made him think he was crazy. She tried to make him think he was crazy. Yep. I mean, she's... And, is, and mocked him pretty much. Yes. I mean, she literally said the words, tell the world, Johnny, tell the world that I, Johnny Depp, was abused by a woman and see who will believe you. Yeah. Like, come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. it, it's, um, it was bad. So um, there's also mm -hmm. a lot with, uh, they had a settlement. Um... Seven million dollars. Seven million dollars. Yep. Give and charity yeah. that yep. she never. Did. Right. And she's now trying to block the um, subpoena for the for the the records of her of that money to see where exactly where it went because it did not go to charity. Yep. And Johnny is suing um, the American Civil Liberties Union, which is one of the places that Amber supposedly donated. Or is the place that Amber supposedly donated because he wants them to give up their records to show that she did not. And I guess they're playing hardball and don't want to do it. So he's suing them uh -huh. uh, to, to do it. And then um, a lot with, so there's a lot with that. And then the body cam from the police came out from the supposed night that um, Amber said that Johnny threw her, the phone at her like a baseball pitcher that she supposedly got like the broken nose and the the eye uh the black eye and all that stuff which you know apparently there's pictures of her coming out with all these bruises and things like that even though she went on tv that week and she, there was no bruising there was no uh and i know you could say makeup but there was no swelling around the nose if you have a broken nose no makeup is going to hide well. swelling i'm just saying yeah. Um, but and it um, and no makeup. There is not enough makeup in the world that is going to hide the black eyes you're going to have from a broken nose. Right. And I I actually watched the body camera fit uh footage. Cops went into the apartment and she was sitting there with two other people and basically was like, no, everything's fine, everything's cool. You know, he's not here. He left. You know, whatever. Oh, but like and told them like they could go. So, you know. I think that's what LAPD is now investigating. Mm -hmm. And she's up for possible jail time for um, giving false information on about that night. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm looking at this website that talks about why uh, Johnny actually filed his defamation suit in Virginia, of all places. But it, it shows a picture of her supposedly the um I guess that from that night. And mm -hmm. it literally looks like she punched herself in the face. Yeah. I wouldn't which put is, it past her. Which is really ridiculous would. when you think about it. Yeah. So it basically on on May uh twenty first of two thousand sixteen uh, the there was two nine one walls two nine one one wow two nine one one calls that came in, um, and uh, the first unit went to the penthouse at nine o five. The second at ten twenty eight, 
And then the mm-hmm. body, and basically what the LAPD is saying is the body cam, which again, I personally watched, it was a very different story than what Amber Heard said in court when she was in London against Johnny Depp. So yeah. body cam footage doesn't exactly lie. No. Because I'm like, I'm, because I'm assuming this is the picture that she was talking, they were, that she was saying that but supposedly she has mm-hmm. like broken yep. nose and everything. One, that nose is not broken. Nope. Two, it looks like she just punched herself in the face. Yeah. I've uh, I've gone on. I've fallen into the rabbit hole on um, YouTube, watching a lot of videos. And one of the mm-hmm. videos that I watch is watching Amber give her testimony. 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 Thank you. Got a brain fart. Uh, uh, one of the videos is Amber Heard giving her testimony of everything. And the way they broke down her body language, every time she was asked a question that you knew she didn't necessarily want to answer, she would take a bite of, like, whatever snack she had in front of her to give her time to think about what she wanted to say. Like, it was actually really interesting how they broke everything down down that just like there's nothing that tells me that this woman is not a liar and she has technically been um accused of assault herself against her previous girlfriend so Mm -hmm. you know well she got she got violent with some other of uh i think she got violent with johnny's ex-wife too his kids don't like her and you want to know what really stood out to me is every single one of his exes. And Do- Johnny has dated a lot of women. Mm-hmm. A lot. And yes. I mean, especially his, his, the mother of his children who he dated Vanessa. for. Yeah. He dated her for years. Oh, I, actually, I feel, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> really? We're, we're together for like 15 years or something. Something like that. Yeah. It was a lot. They oh. basically had a common law marriage. Yeah. That's why um, I said that's why I, I claimed she was an ex wife, even though technically they were never actually married. Right. Like, right. quote unquote, legally, but. Right. So, but she stood up and said that Johnny Depp had never, ever uh, been any t- violent or shown any aggression toward her in all the years that they dated every single one of his ex-girlfriends all stood up and said that's not you know i've never seen that side of him i've never you know this that or the other thing like if your exes are willing to stand up and be like "Mm, i've never seen that before now listen does that mean that it can't happen you know of course not i mean but the fact that every single person like i said like no, this isn't him. And then the other thing that got me was some of his friends stood up and said, like, the day before she filed and, like, basically came out saying that he had, like, domestic, like, that he abused her, she, he told his friends that he doesn't think it's going to go down well with Amber, that she was going to pull something. Literally, like, the day before she filed, he, he knew that she was going to do something. Yeah. I mean, granted... She is a hell of a lot younger than him, but oh. she's using the fact that she's a woman to get mm-hmm. away with abusing him. And the sad, sick part of it is, she got away with it. So far, I mean, I really hope karma kind of comes comes back. I mean, she gets slammed, slammed every day on Twitter. Yeah. Every but single day. Personally, I think if... Johnny got fired from all of his stuff. She should too. Absolutely. I don't 100%. think it's. I don't think it's fair that they're allowing an abuser, because she's even admitted that she abused him. Mm-hmm. Admitted it on tape that she abused him. That she should be allowed to still be working. Yeah. No. I. Well, that was the whole thing. I. I you know, it's all he said versus she said. But it, it's if you're going to. Fire him, which I don't care what Warner Brothers says, even like even though Johnny said like he was basically asked to step down, he was fired. But if they're mm-hmm. gonna do that to him, like you need to turn around and do the same thing to her until everything is set. Like you're taking the word of a 
tabloid newspaper. Like the sun is a tabloid newspaper. Exactly. That's who you're going to believe that, you, you know what I mean? Like, but nope, she's, she's training for uh, Aquaman too. And there's a lot of people not happy about it. I can see that those, the, you know, when that movie does come out, it's not going to do well. Cause a lot of people refuse to watch her. Yeah. I won't. I, I, I watched the first Aquaman. I will not watch the second one. Yep. No matter how much I love Jason Momoa, especially Jason Momoa shirtless. <laughs> it's still not enough. Yep. Yeah. For me to watch Aquaman too. Yep. Yeah. I mean, as somebody who like wasn't following the nitty gritty, you know, details of this whole saga, the thing is, is that some of the stuff that came out about what was really going on, it's like, it just, it just reminded me of how, and this is related to what, like what I was saying in the beginning about how there's like bigger implications of all this. It just, it just reminds me of how there's this notion that, okay, a large majority of the time when we are dealing with some kind of domestic violence situation, it is unfortunately, you know, the man is the aggressor and the woman is the victim. That is unfortunately statistically what goes on a lot. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it just, it just becomes clear that there are a lot of people who just can't quite wrap their heads around the notion that a woman is capable of that kind of behavior especially towards a man, you know, because of the whole gender role thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, first off, the, just the general concept of a woman being capable of any kind of, you know, aggression like this, it's just ridiculous that there are people who honestly can't picture it because, you know, this is going to be like a very mm -hmm. basic example here, but it's like, you know, back when we were all kids going to school, right? You know, since all three of us are, you know, women and we identify ourselves as being female, it's like we got, back when we were school in school, like, you know, we probably all experienced, you know, situations where another girl bullied us in some way. And that's a perfectly good example of a female, you know, capable of being aggressive towards another female. So, you know, towards another person. So... Just the general notion that females are capable of being aggressive, whether it's verbally, emotionally, or even physically, you know, it's like, it's pretty well established that there is such a thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, so, but I guess the, the other side of it also is that it's hard for people to believe that a man could be a victim of a woman. I mean, nobody doubts the notion that, you know, a guy fighting with another guy, like one guy comes out the quote unquote winner of the fight and the other one lost the fight. If, if you want to, you know, go with those kind of terms, but you know, it, 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 it you know, this is something that I think in general should be discussed more, you know, mm -hmm. the whole notion of like situations where it could be the other way around, where it's the woman that's the aggressor and the guy is the victim. Absolutely. Yeah. No, 100%. people don't want to admit that men can, or that men can be abused. They only ever want to admit that women are can be abused. Yeah. But I the the statistics for a for a woman actually abusing a man is a hell of a lot higher than we think. Right. I don't actually know what it is because obviously men don't report like women do, but. Or, or if they do try to report it, or they're not, they're not uh, believed. believed. Yeah, right. But I mean, it's a hell of I a mean, lot higher than what we think. I do know that. Yeah, I mean, in gen, like generally speaking, okay. Even if more men did come out and admit that, like their their ex wife or their ex girlfriend was abusive towards them, I mean, it's a little debatable like whether or not it would still statistically be a lot of cases like that but i do agree with you i think it is a lot higher than we think it is because of the fact that it goes underreported or in some cases not reported at all you know so it's 
rates of female perpetrated violence are higher than male perpetrated. Uh, twenty eight point three percent versus twenty one point six percent. There's the numbers according to, you know, the Google slash Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> so who knows if that's how, actually uh, true? Yeah. Yeah. How true Wikipedia is? No one can edit that. No. Uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> but there's. Wiki the whole thing or... is is that there's there's proof of her abuse. She freaking ch- like threw a glass bottle at him and cut the tip of his finger off. As a result, he had to get the the tip of his finger glued or sewn back on. And then in that infamous phone call that was recorded, like she basically called Johnny out because when they start fighting, Johnny decides to leave the situation. Whether it's because he doesn't want to attack, and he knows if he gets to that point, he, he may, and he doesn't want to get to that point, so he removes himself from the situation, which I applaud, because I'm like that too, where if I'm in a situation, I have to remove myself before I do something, whether that's scream at somebody, say something that's not nice, or, you know, I mean, I've never taken a swing at anybody, but, like, you know what I mean. So, like, and she literally, like, yelled at him that he leaves the situation every single time like and what it, is that and like, that, that just tells you she's the aggressor yeah and it pissed her off that he left every single time yep is what get is what got me i'm like you should be happy that he's walking away from you because otherwise you're both gonna be like um uh, because right. if, if it were me i would have wanted to kick her ass mm-hmm. I, I mean that's just me though because Right. And, you know, the other the other thing to also consider is that, you know, it could be a personality thing where for some people, the only way to handle conflict. Okay, some people, they prefer to directly tackle whatever is the source of the conflict to try to get this figured out for some people. Again, because of the personality thing, they need to get away from the situation for a couple hours or whatever to try to because because they may feel that they're going to get too emotional and not think rationally, or it could be that they are trying to process the emotional parts of whatever is the fight, whatever the fight is about. So by stepping away for like, you know, a couple hours or whatever, you will sort out your feelings and even your thoughts, and then you can more rationally resolve whatever the conflict is. I mean, for me, sometimes personally, that, you know, I've had to do that. Like, I've had to step away because I know that, not that I would ever actually physically attack anybody, but I know that if you trigger me, I am probably going to say something that we're both going to regret later. Mm-hmm. And if you really piss me off, I can't promise you that I'm not going to get so mad that I won't grab something and throw it at you like a baseball. Because not that anybody's actually got me that angry, but you know what? There are certain things that will really piss me off. And I can't promise you that I won't do that because I'm a cancer moon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anybody anybody that's into astrology you know that uh cancers are um when you uh tick them off they're a little trigger happy in in certain respects so you know yeah I, i'm just a gemini <laughs> and uh the, the twin is not nice so and johnny's a gemini so i applaud him on stepping away when he when he had to so because you don't want to mess with the twin all right the twin is not good (laughs) at least with me oh it's the whole jekyll and hyde thing right oh absolutely 100 percent. people have actually seen it happen with me they didn't believe it this was when i was a kid my aunt didn't not that she didn't believe it but she had never really seen it until this one instance and she literally watched me morph from being like the happiest kid in the world to like full on like angry crying like 
in like five seconds. The twin is real. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just an Aquarius, and we all know Aquariuses are insane. Yeah. Not that we wanted to like get into astrology, or, but you know, we just I, mean, we just I don't even know what what is what is heard. Do we even know what her sign is? Let me see. Look it up. She's April twenty second. That Ooh, might she's a that Taurus. might be Taurus. I think that's a Taurus. She's a Taurus. Yep. Well, that makes sense. Although actually, yeah. she may. Well, the other thing also is I think she's a cusp. Mm, barely. She would barely be a cusp if it if it all because eight the nineteenth is when it changes over. Because my daughter is a cusp of Aries and Taurus. Well, okay. Aries, Taurus, cusps are between April 17th and April 23rd. It's like a date range. It's like the first few days of the new sign would be part of the cusp with the previous sign. So Yeah, she's still barely a cusp, though. I would say she, she has more Taurus tendencies than Aries tendencies. Well, yeah, I mean, it, do- well, it doesn't change the fact that she is a Taurus. It's just that she will still have aspects of Aries. I mean, I am a Pisces, but I am born within that. Um, uh, I-, I am a-, a cusp with Aquarius, though. And when I start reading into that, I realize that really I do fit that. Like, I do have... Like it, like it says that basically, if I'm a Pisces, like Pisces are not really, Pisces are not really known for being like, uh, super detailed, and not really being organized. But I am actually pretty capable of being organized when the need comes up, which is better than the when different, which is better than like most other Pisces. So I fit the profile. <laughs> so it, it is possible that she does actually carry some Aries traits as well. It's just, it's just, she, you know, she's still definitely a Taurus. Like, no, no question about it. And I just saw that the defamation case for Virginia has been postponed to right. April of 2022. Oh, Jesus. So, we still got a while before this whole thing's over, so now it's just fighting back and forth, but yeah, I mean, he's already been in it. They they've already been in a in this for three years now. Yeah, it's you know it, it's a very sad sad situation. Absolutely, one hundred percent. But really, what Johnny's doing now, uh, besides trying to get proof that Amber lied about the um the donations of their settlement, which literally was in. Like that that was a court ordered like you know thing like she had to donate um so he's trying to prove that she lied she is under investigation for perjury of uh, saying that she was abused and there's body cam that basically showed she was totally fine and and I don't know where it is but apparently she was getting investigated in Australia for lying um about when they brought the dogs she said mm-hmm. she didn't know about it but her team that she i guess either they had quit or they or she fired them actually came out and said that they told her well in advance that she was not allowed to bring the dogs and she basically didn't care and then even though she like fired them or whatever reached out to them and said i need you to say that i didn't know and they're like no we're not doing that she right, and they shouldn't, that. yeah, I mean, you know, you shouldn't lie about that, about breaking laws like that, right? But also, you know what, they're no longer working for you, so why the hell do they have to cover for you? I mean, what, is, what are you going to do, fire them? Right. <laughs> are you the mob? Yeah. Are you going to come after them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, Amber is in quite a world of uh, trouble, but meanwhile, you know, Poor Johnny has lost, you know, a lot. He lost Disney. He's lost WB. He is filming something right now, but pretty much the only thing that 
they're saying that he still has is obviously Tim Burton who loves Johnny. I mean, he's been in more Tim Burton movies than I can even count. Yeah, um, I mean, well, him, yeah, I mean they're they're pro- they're probably yeah. like if they're not actually BFFs, then they practically are at this point. So Right. I mean so, you can at least yeah, so he can at least count on his longtime uh collaborator friend to hire him, you know? Yeah. Which is good. You got somebody willing to stand for you. Yeah. Poor Johnny. But yeah. but you wanna know what I learned, you know, obviously following this. I didn't realize like Paul Bettany, aka Vision, uh-huh. uh in in uh Marvel, is like best friends with Johnny Depp. They're besties. That's cool. Huh. Dude. And like apparently like he's spoken out about this whole thing too. Obviously in favor of Johnny. But there's not many people that are defending Amber these days. Like well, which is good because Yeah. Which is good because, you know, if there's a lot of evidence that, you know, she's not the innocent lamb, you know then why the heck should anybody be defending her at this point? So, um. so okay, so I'm going back to the trial from last year. So apparently uh, Amber said that she's been Johnny's punching bag for years. She apparently detailed an episode in Australia where he threw bottles at her. Uh, she listed 14 times that, uh, when she said that Johnny assaulted her assaulted her um oh okay so (laughs) one of the instances that he um hit her they apparently were sitting talking about his famous winona forever tattoo and you know how after they broke up he changed it to wino yeah forever and apparently heard said that she laughed during the conversation in response and in response johnny hit her three times and it felt like my eye popped out saying it knocked her off balance and to the floor. And then Johnny literally said he denies everything, saying I would try and go to my own corner, thought it was important that we separate before things got out of hand. Heard's former assistant testified in Johnny's favor. Uh, Depp told the court that Heard flew through vodka bottles. Oh, that whole incident where he was apparently throwing the bottles at her, that was when she threw the vodka bottle at him and severed the tip of his finger. Of course... Heard also denies all the claims. It, you know, it's all he said, she said at this point. But really, for me, the most damning evidence is that recorded phone call and yeah. obviously the body cam. But Elon Musk, apparently Heard was having an affair with him, yeah. has, is, has been involved. And apparently one of the theories is that because I don't remember which charity said that they finally got some money from Amber from that settlement. They think that Elon Musk paid for, like, gave his money instead, gave it in Amber's name so that it looked like she, gave, like, donated so that she could just pocket settlement. Oh, of course. And I did see uh, videos of Elon going with Amber into her apartment that she shared with Johnny. Obviously, there's no video from inside the apartment, so I can't specifically say what may have happened, but. Um, Heard swears that they didn't get involved until after she had ended her relationship with Johnny. Yeah. Just... And then I know I mentioned before, um, you know, Johnny Depp's former girlfriends um, testified for him, basically saying that they were shocked and confused and upset when they heard the allegations. And Winona said, I don't want to call anyone a liar, but from my experience of Johnny, it's impossible to believe that such a horrific allegation is true. Because it's not true. He did right. You know what? You know what? That's the thing. Is that, you know, it, it, the fact that he's dated a lot of women before and he's had relationships with a lot, a lot of women before, it's like, it really says something when not a single one of them ever came out saying that yeah he did this to me he did that to me i mean i mean i imagine some of these women he their relationship is like a long time ago at this point and 
you know, in other, in other situations and, you know, where the guy is the one being accused of being abusive, there's usually at least like what one, two other women he had a relationship with that did end up coming out saying, yeah, he did this Mm -hmm. to me, he did that to me. So you are telling me that not a single one of these other exes of his ever came out to say that, oh, he did slap me before he used to like fat shame me or whatever. Like he, not a single one of them ever came out saying he ever did anything to them. And we're supposed to believe that he just suddenly went crazy and attacked his fault. Well, and you it's, know. it's his exes, all of his uh, co-stars, you know, stepped up and said they've never seen any aggressive side to like anyone that has ever worked or known him has basically come out and said like they've never seen him show any sign of aggress of aggression or anything like that so like you know i don't think he was he's he's been arrested for drugs uh, for drugs and he did get violent with some like males like men right right but, but i mean and I know, like, her There's biggest thing no is, like, that he's... Females in his entire past. Yeah. And if he was as aggressive and as abusive as she is claiming, other women would have come forward when she did and said that dated him and been like, yeah, he, he beat the hell out of me. Or he did this or he did that. You know? Yeah. Yep. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that... And I'm, again, like, I know one of her big thing is that she says that you know he drank he was you know big drinker and like would take pills and stuff like that and you know it, it's it, yes i know that that kind of stuff can lead to that but i mean it, it still just doesn't what was causing not I, I just don't the fact that he's constantly saying i've walked away she admitted you know you always walk away you know what i mean like it just doesn't make sense and in that phone call she never talked about him touching her it was always about her hitting him in yeah. on that phone call. You know, the only Other, time, like, yeah. Didn't she uh, try to goad him into to hitting her? Uh, yes. Like, she would like, I would do this just so I could get a rea- reaction out of you. And all you would ever do is walk away from me. You would leave. How could we ever work on anything if you're not here with me? Like, he's leaving because, one, you're beating the hell out of him. And, two, he doesn't want to hit you. Right. And apparently, like, he locked himself in a bathroom at one point to, like, escape her. Like, he literally tried everything he could to get away from her. Like, he just... And what gets me in the entire recorded uh, phone call with between the two of them, he never once raises his voice to her. She screams at him. Mm -hmm. But he never once raises his voice. And she would cut him off. Like, oh, he would, fun. he would try to, like, say, like, you know, speak his mind. Cause, like, she, he would let her go, let her say what she wanted to say. And then the moment he would go to respond, she would cut him off. And he yeah. even brought that to her <laughs> attention. Like, can you just let me finish? But, but that is a manipulator. You know, that is a narcissistic manipulator. They don't want you to have a thought. Yeah. They want you to share their thought. So they're going to yes. cut you off to make sure that your thought doesn't get out there. Exactly. What gets me is I would love to know exactly what, I mean, how she thought she was going to get away with everything that she got away with forever. Right. And you want to know the whole thing is that there's actually, um, there's a, uh, like interviews that he had like with her and you could just see like he's so fidgety and so nervous being around her like she just like I, I, she I, I honestly have a hard time believing that she didn't do something to him look i don't know obviously not there don't know the entire you know yeah. history of you know who hit who and whatever but well and now um amber saying that working with him on the rum diaries was like torture and how terrible he was to work with and all that stuff he had no problem dating him afterwards and marrying him 
and marrying him. That just makes it sound really insincere, honestly. Listen, I don't, I ain't saying she a gold digger. She, I am. <laughs> I know we're, we're, co- we're, she, we're co- she, yeah. she ain't messing with the bro- <laughs> <laughs> she ain't no, she ain't messing with no broke. So yeah. So basically, where we are now is we are waiting for yet another year for this fifty million dollar defamation case uh, against Amber. Um, Johnny is also suing, as I mentioned, uh, the ACLU to prove that Amber lied about donating half of her seven million dollar. Settlement, which was court ordered. Amber is being investigated by the LAPD for perjury, and fans are still begging uh, Warner Brothers to fire Amber from that too. But they they ain't gonna do that. They're not gonna yeah. do that. I did Which actually they... see something that Amber's like trying to get into the Harry Potter franchise. That would just be like oh, that would be messed up. nuts. That would be so messed up. Yeah, like Warner not, Brothers would have to watch out for you know not not to like uh, you know make the topic go you know make things go off topic, but you know since you mentioned it, I'm actually kind of curious: Are they really going to continue with this whole um, uh, Magical Beasts uh, franchise thing? Because mm-hmm. I is now the uh, is taken over as uh, Gellert Grindelwald. And they hired someone real quick. Yeah, Mads Milkinson, which I'm I'm interested to see because I like Mads. I love he's a good actor, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. But still, it's Johnny's role. Yeah. True. Um. But yeah. So I don't know what she's eyeing. I mean, again, I don't know what they have in the works in terms of like the Harry Potter world. But I think even if in the future they allow her to be in any of those movies, it would be messed up. Um, just for references for anyone that wants to maybe look into this a little bit more if you haven't, you know, followed along with it. Some of the YouTube videos that I watch, if you um, search Johnny Depp, Amber Heard deposition, there's a video from Observer, which is a body analyst, uh, his reaction to Amber Heard's deposition. And then there's also that umbrella guy. That's the user who has tons of videos all about this whole thing. Um, all the way from the court case last summer with the sun to everything that we've been kind of going over now. Um, you know, they have court documents and things like that and kind of break everything down step by step. So if you do want to dig a little bit deeper and kind of come up with your own conclusion, um, you know, you can watch, uh, watch those videos. But for us here, we're hashtag justice for Johnny. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. I have no qualms about saying that either. Same. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for listening, everyone. Catch us next time. And see what we're going to talk about. Because the three fates decide.